Hey guys, this is Eskimo Poodle, and we are back to let's play Blue Dragon on hard mode on the Xbox 360. Last time, we finished up Disc 2 by reaching the top of Nene's Fortress and trying to get the collar off of Kook here, but it turned out to be not a, not a destination collar as Nene had told us, but instead it was a collar designed to sap us of our uh, spell, uh, not our spells, uh, our shadows, so that kind of sucked. So now, we're going to go ahead and try to get the achievements associated with uh, with getting Kook's life out without getting her injured. I already got one of them off screen, so I'm going to try the other one now. I got a turbo controller, because, well, I wanted one for the Xbox for a while, so I'm going to see if that will help us out here. Because I couldn't, I couldn't get the escape from the uh, the ostrich with a bastard because he just killed me. So that didn't work out so well. So now I'm gonna go ahead and try that after we beat this guy. So we'll skip all the cutscenes and whatnot. All right, okay, stop powering up your sato. Uh, and I have all my turbo buttons set on right now. That's why nothing. Charging. I forget what buttons you gotta press for the damn thing. Oh, and some and here's some bullshit. I'm not sure how well this is gonna work because I tried to test it out on Canary Mary, the round two and Banjo Tui. It didn't work. I don't know why. Like it like pressed the button but it didn't press it enough to defeat Canary Mary. I was like, what kind of bullshit is this? Okay, I guess we gotta beat you guys in the back. I killed him so fast last time. I didn't even think about it this time. Goodbye. Alright, double cast um, water essence. For you. And for you. There you go. Now. Water is on Yasato. With any luck, this turbo controller doesn't actually suck, and it will actually help us with this achievement. Because I tried, I tried button mashing that damn thing for a while, and I could not get it. Alright, come on. Uh, show me your, show me your sweeper. I don't know how much HP he has. Like, I don't think I've ever killed him. Then again, usually he's the fight's finished a long time before this. Like, I'm not sure if you can kill him outright. Right. You probably can, but I'm not sure how. Because he seems like one tough little cookie. Hopefully this kills him. Because then you might summon a droid and suck. Alright, good, he's done. Alright, let's get out of here. I don't care about the cutscene, we already saw all this. Ah, I just want to get out of here. Alright, so. Go. I forget if she took. I, th I think the damage she has right here is damage from the fight that we were in. But either way, this is this one is the one I already got the achievement on, so I'm not too worried about this one. And it seems like it's going up fast enough that it's not uh, it's not injuring her. That damn, that damn soft squash or whatever his name is. He's the real bastard. Come on, get him, get him, get him, get him. Yeah, there you go. Alright. That should be the last of that, I think. It's working! Alright. Screw you. Screw you. 
But, uh, screw you. Alright, show me the button. Come on, go, 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 go. Yeah, I don't think it's gonna work. Yeah. Okay, this. Apparently, this turbo controller sucks. Or something, I don't know. Okay, this turbo controller really sucks. So, oh well. Let's try one more time without the turbo. Because I think this one might be good for, uh... I think this might... I think this controller might be good for button mashing since it's got a better... Dude, that was all the way up there. What the hell? I think the buttons on this one are, easy, are a little easier to mash than the ones on the uh, wire controller I got. Okay, you, you guys saw that. The fucking bar was all the way at the top. That is ridiculous. Now, I'm just going to go ahead and die and try one more time. And if I do die, you guys aren't even going to know this happened. So let's try again here. Come on, go, go, go. Dude, that is some bullshit. I was, I was all the way up there. What the hell? You know what? Yeah, seriously, you're like all the way up there. It doesn't even, it doesn't even work. Oh well, we tried. All right, let's just go ahead and just go to disc three. A shadow because After he does the magical power was absorbed back into my spirit new turbo controller you suck no I don't want to save because I uh, this is a different save file so I care less about the save file right here than I do about the save file that I already got okay get down cord. What the hell? Oh, ah, stop it. Stop it, you pile of shit. What the hell, dude? <sighs> Fucking... Yeah. Alright, how do you go on? You go on. Hang on there, dude. Calm down. How the fuck do you go on here, dude? Uh, oh, there it goes. No, that's not it. Hello? You know what? Just... There, okay. Did that work? Okay, disc three is inserted. There you go. The little metal part on the disc tray thing decided to fall off there for some reason. Uh, 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 uh,
This world belongs to me now, my little friend. What the heck are you saying? Let go! <laughs> 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 Look. So great, we got all those uh, new spells and stuff in the last episode, the end of this 2, and we can't even use them. And apparently Nene destroyed the world. Either that, or she was having a bad dream, which I'm going to hope that's the case. Playable. Uh, yeah, my HP is kind of low there, dude. What the hell? Uh, status? Okay, uh, how about you conjure up that little invisible shadow you had like 10 seconds ago? I just realized some bullshit here. I'm gonna have to re-equip all my fucking accessories thanks to this bullshit. Well, like, not like my accessories, but like my... Well, not, not like my, like, bracelets and stuff like that, but my actual accessories. Fuck. I'm gonna have to redo all that shit. I'm gonna have to reassign all my abilities. Son of a bitch. And I don't have any MP. Now, let's see, is there anything to search in here? Yeah, a couple things. Metal. I don't think there's a whole lot, but... Gorgor elixir, very nice. I wonder what happened if you used a item, a power, a power swap dart like that. Uh, when you don't have any MP oh. to switch it with, would that, would that like instantly kill you? Nothing. I'm gonna try that if we get into a battle without any MP. That'd be fun. Metal. Fun to watch Nothing. me die. I can't believe this new turbo controller sucks. It, that sucks because like I, I I was gonna I was gonna go uh, fight Canary Mary or not fight but race Canary Mary again using the uh, turbo controller and beat her and then and then go over some like channel updates but then my uh, my race kind of didn't go as planned. I see you're awake. Uh, yeah. Oh, I'm glad you slept so well. You've been out for three days. Three days? Did you know you were asleep for that long? Three days? I found you lying unconscious near the village. What about my friends? Oh, they're already awake, dear. I saw them in the plaza earlier. They were very worried about you because you didn't wake up. As a matter of fact, the young girl was even crying. In the plaza? Uh, uh, you said this was a village. What's the name of this place? This is Devour Village. Well, I'm Shu from Talta Village. Thanks for helping me. Playable. I'm guessing they call it Devour Village because they're hungry and they devou bad. devour their meals. Like, oh. like cavemen. That's one way to do it. Hey, you know what? Nothing. I just discovered at least a slight use for this uh, controller. I can Nothing. just turbo the A button for searching shit. Yeah, Nothing. it makes stuff nice and easy. Nothing. It may not be. It may not be good for a uh, for something like oh. uh, what should we call it? Nothing. Racing Canary Mary, but it makes my searching easier. And I'm guessing uh, Kook was crying because we didn't wake up. And that reminds me, where's our other female party member, uh, Zola? She went to go, I forget what she went to go do, but she went to go do something on the uh, Nene's Fortress, and then she never came back, so I don't know where she went. Eh, she'll show up later, I guess. Item. Ooh, Grand Light Crystal, very nice. Alright, that should be enough here. Alright, let's get out of here, and see if we can't find our buddies. But yeah, we're finally in the home stretch of uh, Blue Dragon here. Took us a while, and that's a uh, creepy looking tree. Playable. Kinda got a Nightmare Before Christmas kind of vibe to it, doesn't it? A little bit. Alright, let's pop on the old Nothing. Exploration A button. I like it. 
It may not be good for what I bought it for originally, but... Oh well. Nothing. But yeah, Canary Mary still beat my ass, and I she's can't. a cheating bitch, and all that other good stuff. So yeah, screw her. Oh, hello. Warp device. At least we can still use these. But, as you can guess, we're probably not allowed to warp right now, so... Even if you did want to go back to, uh, Calter Village and all that other good spot, they're not gonna let you. Yeah, not enough magic power to warp. I don't think it ever took MP to warp in the first place, but I'm guessing, I'm guessing the uh, shadows are, are what had the magic power enabling us to warp. Not like MP magic power, but like magical power, like, you know, like the ability to use the magical stuff, I guess. Let's go explore some houses before we go find the kids. Ooh, a private house. That means there's all sorts of good stuff in here. Nothing. Nothing. Item. Magic elixir, bueno. Item. Grand shadow. Item. Nothing. Nothing. Oh yeah. Makes it way easier to search for stuff. Ooh, fell on the wizard. Don't worry, one of these days I'll compile all these books into little episodes so you guys can read them if you want. I'm not sure. I forget where the last books for each one are, so it'll probably be something done like bonus videos at the end of the series, because I don't remember where they all are. But I'll, I'll have them up there eventually. I wonder if these guys like hide their gold around the house as like little, like little like banks, I guess, like little piggy banks, and then we come in and steal it all. So I've already got like 80 gold from this old lady's house, and she's not saying anything. Nothing. Nothing. Oh, old man. Okay, my bad. I thought it was an old lady. All right, that should be everything in here. So let's see what Pops has to say. What do you mean if you get eaten? Are they cannibals? Huh. That's kind of a ominous thing to say there. The old codger. Yeah. Oh well. He must just have a sense of humor or something. I don't know. You gotta have a sense of humor in a dreary town like this, right? How you doing, kids? They're at a vacant house. Okay, gotcha. Uh, I don't I don't know anything else more than you do, kid. I've been knocked out for the past three days because of a giant ostrich. Yes, he is from the Devi tribe, actually. By the way, I'm not sure if I ever mentioned it with uh, Maramaro, but um, I guess the Devi are supposed to be a more magical inclined tribe with like more like uh, magical abilities, and uh, Maramaro is kind of the odd one out with being more physically aligned. Like, if you had got another Deve uh, party member, he probably would have had slightly better magical stats, whereas Maramaro has slightly better physical stats than the average uh, Deve. At least that's what I heard. I I'm not sure how true it is, but Maramaro does have some pretty good HP. Oh, yeah. Robin the Graves. Grave Robin. Oh, yeah. Nothing. Nothing. Looks like these guys aren't going to be able to uh, pay Karen, uh, Karen or whatever you pronounce his name. You know, the guy that ferries the dead across the river Styx. Sucks for them. Just right for remembering what, dude. These guys do look kind of depressed around here. I mean, it is kind of a dreary place, but it's not that bad. I mean, it's no worse than living in, like, L.A. or anything like that. I'm joking, I'm joking. Nothing. Alright, let's see. Yeah, Stu Controller is a tad clicky. But, oh well. Nothing. 
Got some wells. Uh, let's see, what else we got around here? I don't want to go talk to the, the party members just yet. I want to get everything else around here. But we'll see. Item. Nothing. Ooh, spell shop. Not that we can use any of it, but I think we had most of it anyways. Yeah, because I, I, like I said, I think the, the next chance you're going to have to get like uh, the spells from... Then his fortress is damn near at the end of the game. Yay, froggies. So in other words, you piss off Valen, you turn into a toad. Ooh, more machine stuff. There we go. I like all these little stories, they're fun. Ooh, agility. I guess choose the one that's gonna get that since he's the only one here. There we go. He might get kinda angry, go uh robot smash. I forget if they gave him a name in this book, I, I really do. It's been a while since our last part of the the book. Gee, you're going to cast a spell that turns all the villagers into frogs, and you're going to hope that it doesn't affect your your girlfriend just because she's your girlfriend. How about you uh, word the spell in such a way that it doesn't affect your girlfriend? Damn it, that's not what I was trying to do. How about you word the spell in such a way that it doesn't affect your girlfriend? You know, try to think of that before you cast a spell. Go away. I'm trying to make sure I didn't miss anything over here. There we go. Yeah, if I, if I turn one of my girlfriends into a frog, there's a pretty good chance she would run away too. So I can't really blame her. Nothing. Or, instead of just turning your girlfriend back, you can turn everybody back. See, she, she appears to be smart. Alright, go away. Books, we're done. Of course you'd be the leader, you got the most kills to your name.
Here comes the part where he has a conscience. And then it's gonna say something like, Oh, he helped uh, everyone else out for free for the rest of his life, and everybody was happy. Then he went on a rampage again later. Well, this is a nice little collection of books back here. It's a shame we can't get back to those ones, but oh well. Alright, let's see what you got there, Mr. Spell Shop Owner. Stuff that I already have, yes. I got it. Yep, I figured as much. Oh well, at least we came in here for the books. Alright, let's see. Have we already been in here? I don't think so. Because if we had... I would have checked that already. See, I want to make sure I got everything else around here. They said they're over by the abandoned house. Uh, I think they're over... Where is it? Um, there's, they're over by a well somewhere, I think. Yeah, over there, kind of. I forget exactly where, but we'll figure it out. I got some gold, very nice. And let's see what we got in house number N. Is that where we were? I don't think we were in then. I don't think we were in the end. In the end, there you go. Yeah, we weren't in here yet. All right, so let's uh, ransack the place. Starting with the boxes. Gold. Nothing. Eh, what's the point of a mega invisibility elixir when we don't really have shadows for fighting? I guess they're. I guess we could sneak by the enemies, but. Hello, fire. I guess we could have waited till we got Shu back in the party. Or not Shu. Uh, Clute back in the party and used uh, the experience on her, but oh well. It's only like a grand total of like 50 experience or some shit like that, so it's not even a whole lot. It's not like she's really going to miss it. I mean, she'll be caught up in no time. It'd be nice if Zola came back at some point, but I don't know where she went. Well, I do, but that's besides the point. Hello, medals. Whole lot of nothing. All right, did I already check you? I did not. Nothing. And we'll be able to turn these metals in sooner or later. The problem is everything starts to get it starting to get more expensive now that we've bought all the uh, early stuff. Nothing. Or bought a couple of each, I should say. Nothing. I'm guessing the innkeeper's just gonna tell us, oh, your friends are outside, but I forget. Six gold? Wow, that's cheap, bro. I mean, I know some of the other inns in this place are cheap, like 20 gold or some, something like that, but six bucks for a night? Not bad, not bad, I'll take it. Well, I would if I needed it. Or you can just go to one of the many free healing spots around the area. But, hang on. Dang it, I missed what that said. Damn it. Oh well. Another house to ransack. Nice. Magic is always good for convenient amnesia. 
For the most part, anyways. You, you want to do something and not have anybody remember it? I'm trying to go into frogs for a few minutes and hope they... Nothing. Hope they don't hope they don't remember. And usually it works. Item. Gold. Nothing. There we go. Okay, hang on there, dude. I gotta ransack your house before see so look at stealing money from these guys like nothing. What if this is like their kids' college fund or something like that? And I'm just stealing it so I can waste it on junk food. Nothing. Nothing. Oh well. They don't seem to mind too much, therefore, I don't mind too much. Nothing. Don't go near the forest. Alright, gotcha. So it's like the evil forest from uh, Harry Potter, the uh, forbidden forest. Don't go to the square. I was already there, but... What do you mean the tree will devour me? I was over there and I forget what it said because I didn't read it, but uh, it didn't seem too hungry. Let's see if we can talk to the tree again, see if it tries to eat us. I guess not. Alright, those are the kids we talked to. Is that the house we came out of, I think? I think that might have been the house we came out of, yeah. Or either that or this one, I don't remember. Ooh, there's a treasure chest. It's very nice. Bueno. Yeah, that, mu that might have been the house we came out of because... I think it is. It's not the house we came out of, but it's one of the houses we already ransacked. We've already pillaged and plundered this house, so we go to a different house to plunder our loot. Uh, where the heck did we come from then? We came from... It might have been this house right here that we already came from. It is kind of an ominous looking tree if you think about it. Yeah, this might have been the house we came from already. I think it is. Yep, there's the old lady. Alright, only a few more houses to search and then we can be done. Did I already talk to that little girl out there? I don't remember. Let's find out. I don't think I did, because otherwise that would have been searched. Salia. Yeah, have you seen him anywhere? What do you mean you wouldn't know? Okay, I guess she has no idea where they are, which kind of sucks. That would be nice, because, you know, keep an eye out for stuff. That's like a really creepy looking lantern on that tree right there. I mean, I guess they got to get light somehow, but it just... Yeah, the tree's moving behind it. Look at that. Maybe it's windy out here or something. But, of course, we're not going to animate the main character's hair being blown in the wind. That would take too much effort. Alright, more money, money, money. Uh, what the heck is... Weird-looking trees. Nothing. Item shops. Hello, treasure. You know, if I kept the if I kept an item in a treasure chest in my house, and some kid walked in and just started looking through it to take all the good stuff, I'd be kind of mad. Because you know that's where you hide the good stuff that you want to save for yourself for later in your old age, not for not for the kid with the Dragon Ball Z haircut to come jack all your hard-earned money and stuff. Nothing. 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 I've never been a huge Dragon Ball fan. It's just the art style, I guess. The forest is alive. You guys are scared of the forest around here. I mean, I'm sure dark woods are scary, but they're not that bad. Item. 
At least not that I've noticed. Okay, this seems like a pre pretty poor village. What are you doing hiding an ultra village in there? Or uh, ultra medicine. Yeah, you're gonna hide an ultra village in your poor village. That, that That's the way to do it there, guy. Alright, nothing else of value in here, so let's uh, amp spray. And okay, we still have check in the item shop. Okay, and that'll pre that'll be pretty much the uh, rest of the town, I think. I and then we can go find the party members. Lots and lots of experience. Yeah, I'm just gonna search around the counters for your good stuff that you're not selling to the customers, like the money. How, how, how much does uh, ten gold cost around here? Metal. I'll trade. I'll trade you a potion for ten gold. Nothing. Well, technically you can, because you can sell stuff. But gold. it's a good Nothing. thing shopkeepers and RPGs always have Nothing. like a infinite amount of money, that because then you can sell off all your useless crap for millions of dollars. I mean, I mean, some some Western RPGs like Sky, uh, like the Elder Scrolls, stuff like that. Nothing. They do have a limit on like the uh, shopkeeper's uh, inventory, I think, or uh, some of them do. I'm not sure which ones, but and, and that's a little more realistic. But then, but then you can't exploit it for uh, monetary gain, which is always a shame. All right, do you got anything good around here? Probably not. I already have everything, right? Yeah, I already have everything. Oh well, you tried, you failed. How about you? Ooh, we can buy a diamond bracelet. Eh, let's just get one of each. Not that I'll use them, because I have better, but let's just have them just to have them. Nothing. Item. Metal. Alright, let's get out of here. It's almost time to find the uh, the party members. Keyword there being almost. Still got some more exploring to do, not a whole lot. How you doing, lady? Two boys and a girl here just a while ago. Okay, so they did come by this way. I'm surprised she didn't say a boy, a girl, and a deve. You know, you'd think it'd be nice to make the distinction. All right, we've made a full circle as far as I can tell. Let's see, if we got everything here, we've got... Yeah, I think if we go up there, that's where we gotta go. Uh, let me just make sure. Um... I forget. Let's go over this way. Ah, no, there they are. Okay, so we can go over there. Alright, let's go... Vacant house. Um, I don't want to talk to them just yet because I want to make sure I didn't miss anything here. Alright, so we'll come back over here in just a minute. See what's on this uh, cliffside over here. I don't think there's a whole lot over there, but let's just make sure. And then we'll go our save our game because we got a bunch of good items. Well, maybe not good, but, you know, some. And then we'll go talk to the, uh, the group. very uh, platformed up here. This looks like they hold like a campfire right here or something. Either that or they tried to grow like fruits and veggies and it failed. Where are we on the map anyways? We are way up there in the northeast corner. Dang, we're way by ourselves over here. And am I imagining things, or are there four moons in this? Five, how many moons in this? How many moons are there? One, two, three, four, five moons that I can see right here. Six. 
Okay, how many moons do you need in this damn place? I mean, I never really paid too much attention to that, but that's a lot of moons. Seriously, why the heck are there six moons in the sky? Unless those are like, uh, moon lasers, but I thought we destroyed all those. You know, with painstaking bastardization, I thought we killed all those. Fuck that moon game. I can burn and die in a flare spell. Is that a treasure chest that I missed down there? No, it's just a pot. Okay. Alright, so we got all that. Let's go hit the safe spot, and let's go talk to the kids. Our kids. Our friendly kids. Our neighborhood kids. There's our safe spot. That reminds me. That, did I go over this way then? I want to make sure I can't do anything else over here with the uh, woods. Oh, that's the way out of town. Okay. Trees aren't that bad, are they? I really don't think trees can eat you. I mean, sure, they're pulsing menacing, menacingly, but I really don't think they're going to actually, like, pick you up like a pair of chopsticks and eat you. The vines are wrapped so tightly you won't be able to open it. Gee, if I only I had something like a superior uh, ruby gem that would set fire to them anyways, you know. That's one way to do it. I says you don't have your shadow, you gotta make use of all those items that we've been stockpiling for forever. Alright, let's save right here. Alright, let's go find Izzy Kids. You know what? Let me turn off my turbo baton. I forget if we can still use the the uh, what call it's the the barrier key thing to unlock like barrier chest right now. I don't think we have the white barrier anyways, but. Okay. Well, what about you? Klook told me what happened. I'm okay. What about Zola? She isn't here? No. That's Zola for you. She probably made a clean escape. I'll bet she went back to King Gibral. She can take care of herself. I guess. Shu, how did this happen? How did we get away from Nene? It wasn't a dream, was it? He was gonna crush us, wasn't he? It wasn't a dream. Jiro, do you remember when Nene called us vessels? Yes, I remember that all right. Those light spheres that we swallowed were actually Nene's soul. I'm guessing the reason he was having us use magic was so that it would develop and nourish his soul. And that was in order to cure the rapid aging disease he has. He put on this act to make it seem like he was killing us, so we would grow the resolve to not give up. But the reason he did this was so that we built up the magic. So, we can't use magic anymore? If he doesn't need us, then why are we still wearing these collars? But... I used magic. What? what? It was so intense, I wasn't sure what was happening. But I knew it was magic. That's what allowed us to escape. <clears throat> yeah. At the time, I thought we should all just run away. Can you believe I actually thought something like that? You gave up? That's not like you! Yeah, I know. I gave up. Jiro, I think I finally understand. Giving up or running away isn't always a bad thing. 
I mean, not if we live to fight another day. It's just all part of the bigger plan, you know? I realize that I won't give up is not always the answer. Join. Well, you may not give up, but that doesn't mean they manifested their shadows again. Oh well. All right. Uh, well, we've explored we've explored uh, Devour Village today, and. I guess next next episode we're gonna try to figure out why they call it the Valor Village. So let's go save, and then we'll figure it out next time. So guys, thank you for watching, and I will see you guys later. You guys have a good night.